What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Here to bring you an NFL prediction video on free agent Darnell Mooney. I believe he will sign with the Atlanta Falcons this offseason. But before we get started, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what team do you believe will sign Darnell Mooney this offseason. Now, let's get into it, guys. So it's finally good to be back home to do Atlanta Falcons video. I haven't did an Atlanta Falcons Center video in a long time. Been about a good month and a half, two months. And, you know, people get it misconstrued viewing my, my, my channel, you know, thinking I'm a fan of certain teams. I'm an Atlanta Falcons fan. I like to say it in a lot of videos just to make sure, you know, I'm coming from, if I'm not doing an Atlanta Falcons video, I'm coming from an unbiased place. You know, I just like to talk about all other teams. I don't like to get it, you know, I don't like to pigeonhole myself uh, in, into one, you know, into, in one lane and just stay with one team. You know, some some channels like doing the news and rumors on just one team. I think that's cool, you know, but it's not what I want to do. But I am an Atlanta Falcons fan. You know, I haven't done the video in a while, but a lot of my a lot of stuff going on now, the rumors and stuff like, like that I've already talked about as far as fields and, you know, the possibility of getting him, Kirk Cousins, uh, a bunch of other things as well, targets in the draft. So I might rehash that in one long, big video uh, prior to free agency and also prior to the draft when those times come. But let's get into it, guys. Let's talk about Darnell Mooney, who I believe one of the most underrated players in this year's free agency. He's someone, when he was with the Bears, well, the Bears last couple years, he's someone I always put in my parlays also, or just single bets. He's someone, a very good deep threat, 5'11", 175, and I think he just needs a, he, he has a lack of opportunity. You know, Fields, first couple years, you can blame the O-line. And also feels injuries and his more his tendency to just run the ball a whole lot more. Then you have last year, you have DJ Moore. You know, obviously a star-studded receiver, one of the best receivers in the league. You know, so wherever you want to rank him at, he's he's at the top echelon, top level. You know, and um, he had a great year last year. Cole Komet, the tight end, is one of Fields' favorite targets. So it's kind of tough for Moon to find his, his footing, but he's also one of the better deep threats, in my opinion. You know, you can all, like I said, going back to the parlay and to the single bet stuff, sports betting, I always had Mooney for at least going over 30 plus yards because every game he gave you at least 32 up for most of the time. And like I said, I always, I normally came out winner messing with Darnell Mooney. He loved the deep ball. Uh, Fields love giving him, give him at least one deep ball shot per game. And he normally always caught it. So, you know, you, you'll see a stat line of Darnell Mooney, two catches for 40 yards, two catches for 35 yards, and always a win off that one deep ball. But just watching the film, Mooney has good hands, great speed on him, and he will fit perfectly with what my Falcons need. You know, we'll see who our number two receiver will uh, be. Will it be Malik Neighbors? Will it be Ronald Dunze? You know, we'll see if we, go, we target that in the draft or we target that in free agency. But – Mooney, who can play the outside, will probably be more of our Scotty Miller role from last year, more of our slot speedster guy, deep threat guy, in his Zach Robinson style, stack, excuse me, Zach Robinson style offense, which we don't know exactly how, how it will look yet. But we will say we, we need a deep threat. You know, as I said before in different videos, Drake London is our only option of receiver right now, worth noting, only one on, on roster currently. Uh, Mac Holland didn't quite work out. He's on a one-year deal, or was last year. Now he's gone. Scotty Miller didn't have much of an effect last year. Was on a one-year deal, gone. And uh, Van Jefferson traded by, uh, traded from the Rams to the Falcons. One-year deal left on his contract. Probably won't return either. So I think Donna Mooney will come as our slot, be our deep threat, change of pace guy, and then we find someone as a number two option to Drake London, probably a more physical, all-around, well, well-built wide receiver. But let's see who that will uh, be. You know, we'll, we'll see. Will it be a trade, free agent, rookie? Uh, the list is long. The option that we could add for the number two spot. But Mooney will be a perfect spot for us. But the only thing that concerns me is a lot of teams need a player like Mooney. You know, the Kansas City Chiefs, the champions, are definitely one of those teams, I believe. And I said before, uh, I did a video maybe about a month ago now on uh, potential 2024 cap casualties. And MVS, you know, who came alive in the playoff run uh, this past season, um, he could he could and probably should be cut by the Chiefs. He's due about $12 million this upcoming season. I don't see them paying that. Maybe a contract restructure happens, but I doubt. I think he's outright cut. 
So, you know, they, and this Sky Moore hasn't panned out. Tony, what will happen to him? So, right now, Rasheed Rice might be the only one left on that roster. Him, Justin Watson is free agent. So, I can definitely see um, the Kansas City Chiefs going after the guy like Darnell Mooney. Underrated, unproven, also will be very, very cheap. Probably a one-year prove a deal, one year, a couple million, just to show. Probably, in, and also in a better situation, too. So, like as I said, if it's Fields' fault or not, it is what it is. But the offense was a mess. The O-line was a mess the first couple of years, messing with Fields and, and, and the Chicago Bears for Donnell Mooney. So, it didn't really have an opportunity to really show himself. But you have other teams as well. One-year prove a deal can always fit into, you know, whatever system need, uh, needs it. You have the Tennessee Titans. Will Levis, you know, Traylon Burks, DeAndre Hopkins, and that's really about it as far as the name recognition goes for the wide receivers there. You can also have Darnell Mooney, you know, the Texans, the Titans, uh, you know, the list goes on. Who, whoever can add a one-year cheap speedster can definitely, and that's definitely probably the whole league, can definitely uh, have a chance to add Darnell Mooney. But I think we have to leg up on, on a lot of teams for one reason, and that is Ryan Pace. Ryan Pace was a former GM of Chicago Bears from, what, 2015 to, like, 2019, 2020, something like that. And he was around. He drafted Darnell Mooney. So my thinking is, as I always say a lot of my videos as far as free agents and trades go, you know, we have ties to uh, ties to someone in another organization. I call that past threads, past connections. And we definitely have that here with Ryan Pace and Darnell Mooney. So uh, just like us getting Jesse Bates last year, to me, I predicted that video months before it even happened. I, I did a prediction video, excuse me, on that months before it happened, before he signed with us because of we had on our roster at, at that time, I forgot the man's name, but he was a secondary coach or something like that on, on our staff. And he was familiar with, he was with the Bengals for a couple of years, especially during Jesse Bates' run as a, as a Pro Bowl corner, like 2021, something like that. And obviously, we, we ended up getting Bates. And we had money, too. That definitely is a, is a reason as well. But Ryan Pace knows what he has in Darnell Mooney. He's seen it back, back then. I think he'll see it now and could possibly convince Darnell Mooney to come to the Falcons, which would be a great move for us. You know, like, like I said, I think he's ready to break out. And whoever our quarterback will be, maybe even Justin Fields. And they already have a prior connection, so that will be cool if it does happen. Like I said, I'm not really a Fields guy uh, as far as him on the Falcons. I like him. I hope he, he's be successful, but not with us. You know, I kind of want Kirk. I kind of want uh, Keith Ritter or, you know, someone else, but uh, maybe even Russell Wilson. But if we do get Fields, bringing on Mooney would be a, a very good safety blanket uh, as far as – them already having chemistry, you know, so that'll be cool on that end. But we'll definitely see. You know, a lot of teams can can contend and offer a small one-year deal to get Mooney services, and all it takes is one, you know, one team to offer a little bit more or him to feel like it's a better situation. You know, like I said, if the Chiefs come a-knocking, I don't expect him to turn it down. <laughs> you know, they are the titles for – they are the champions for a reason, back-to-back -back champions. They have a good overall roster. They have Pat Mahomes, had, you know, Andy Reid, Pat Mahomes – Travis Kelsey, why not go there? You know, so it makes sense to go there if they do come a knocking. But I'm thinking hopefully Ryan Pace can you know uh, get get Raheem Morris and everyone on board to go after Mooney to be our premier slot guy and really take the top off of some defenses, whoever our quarterback will be. Fields, Cousins, Ritter, Wilson, you know, hopefully not a rookie, but uh maybe even McCarthy is pin it to somebody. We'll, we'll see how everything shakes out. But uh, I really would love Mooney to be on our squad. I think it's very, very possible it happens as well. But, you know, there's a lot of teams gunning for a cheap young option. Uh, Mooney, who will be 27 by October, pushing November. I think his birthday is late, uh, late October. On a one-year deal, you, you can't beat that. You can't beat a young, proven speedster. You know, he's unproven as far as uh, big games and all that stuff. But he gives you big moments, great catches, stuff like that. So, uh, he's, he's a proven deep threat, just not a proven big-time player, you know. But that can definitely change in one season, given the right situation, given the right offense. And like I said, the Falcons, t Titans, Rams, you know, the list goes on. Chiefs, Chargers, Lions, anybody can add – Ravens, anybody can add Mooney, and uh, there will be a lot of upside there and a lot of, uh, you know, fans be surprised at how good Mooney actually is or can be given the right situation, given uh, better QB play or better 
better situation for, for, for himself. So we'll see how everything shakes out. But moving to the Falcons via Ryan Pace's influence, I like it a lot, man. So that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.